Hi, I'm Jason, and welcome to this section of the Differential Equations Tutor. And in this section, we're going to cover something very near and dear to my heart, and that is the topic of circuit analysis, basic circuit uh, equations as an application of differential equations. Now, we're not going to become an expert in circuit theory in this section, but we are going to look at a couple of problems that really teach you the power of differential equations and, in fact, show you one of the main reasons or at least one of the biggest reasons that differential equations are employed. So for those of you who are just taking differential equations because you're an electrical engineer, what you're going to see here is a preview of things to come, and there are other techniques you learn when you get into your dedicated engineering courses, electrical engineering courses that make this process even easier. But when we're looking at pure solutions of differential equations, these are the tools you're going to need. If you're not an electrical engineer, if you're a mechanical engineer, or if you're studying pure science or something like that, then this is still a really neat application of what we've been learning all along, how to solve these equations. So before we can actually solve one of these guys, I do need to teach you at least a little bit about basic circuit theory. And a lot of you may already know this, and if so, that's great. If not, uh, then just try to absorb it here, and so we'll cover some basic groundwork so that we can get in and solve a few problems. All right, so an electric circuit, you all know, is when you have electricity running around in a loop through a wire, and uh, there are components uh, in the circuit. And uh, so one of the, the, the most important components, the basic component everyone learns about in the beginning, is uh, the resistor. So I'm just going to write it like this, resistor. All right. And we typically use the letter R to you know, designate that we're talking about a resistor. Uh, and so this symbol, the electrical circuit symbol for that, the symbol for a resistor is given right here and it just sort of looks like a scrunched up wire like that and you can sort of think of it as um, this resistor, what it's basically going to do is uh, it's going to resist the flow of electrons through the, through, through the resistor. What it, it's going to constrict it. It's going to uh, try to stop it, so to speak. So the little scrunched up wire is sort of trying to tell you that it's, preventing, uh, it's, it's presenting an obstacle to the current, and that's kind of why it's all bunched up and, and uh, you know, kind of causing it to kind of do that. Now, of course, it, the resistor is not constructed with up and down wires. This is just the, the electrical symbol for it. All right, so if we have a circuit with this little element here we call a resistor, then we say it has a value of R uh, ohms, which you might see, or you will see, written as the, um, the letter omega right there. It's a unit of resistance. If we were taking a real circuits course, I'd go into why we're labeling it ohms and all that. It's not that important now. All I'm trying to tell you is if you have a resistor in a circuit, it has a value of R ohms. It could be 5 ohms. could be 17 ohms. could be, you know, 2 ohms or something like that and a resistor constricts and tries to, to prevent the flow of current. The higher the value of the resistor, the more it's trying to prevent that current from flowing through the wire there. All right, the other thing we have, or another thing we have, is called an inductor. Okay, this is called an inductor. This is something that you may not learn until you get into a circuits course or maybe a physics course or if you have an interest in it and read a few books, it'll talk about inductors. It's one of the, the primary circuit elements. And for historical reasons, we use the letter L to, to denote an inductor when we're talking about inductance. We don't really want to use I for inductor because later on, we're gonna, I'm going to tell you in a second, uh, I is used for current. And there's a historical reasons why I is used for current. So some of these things you have to kind of learn. You, know, you would think you would use C for current because it's C. You would think you would use I for inductor because it's I. But there's a lot of history behind this, so it doesn't always follow that convention. But R does mean resistor, and that's kind of easy to remember. So for an inductance, 